Right guys, we're here with artist and author Scott Fraser. How are you doing Scott? Very good, thanks. That's good. Um, so Scott, can you tell us about your works today? Well, I've got two books today. The first one I've got is a collection of not untrue stories. So it's kind of uh, based on true stories, but maybe the facts have changed kind of thing. Um, and then the second book I have, it's called Shadow Rumble. And it's basically, it's vampires versus werewolves set in Melbourne. And it's kind of like the also based on true stories. So true incidents. And That's interesting. So what made you choose Melbourne um, as, as, as a place rather than a nondescript European country? I was living in Melbourne at the time. And actually the, uh, the Shadow Rumble stories were first published an anthology book called Homebrew Vampire Bullets. Those two issues, nice big, thick, chunky ones. And it was kind of, the book was inspired by Ausploitation Cinema, so proudly Australian. And so um, the idea for the story of vampires versus werewolves was kicking around in my head for years, since the 90s. And then when um, I got asked to contribute something to this anthology, um, I thought about that concept and I thought well why can't I sell it in Melbourne and then the more I thought about it the more um, true events that were happening around Melbourne I could adapt the story to Melbourne so it's kind of um, it's about the gentrification of s suburbs it's about big business it's about local communities and the different culture wars so moving on to a more personal level Scott uh, when did you get first started in writing and drawing I went to art school and I studied illustration um, many, many years ago now. Uh, I think I graduated in 96. And then when I uh, graduated, one of my first jobs I did was I self-published my own comic book series. Uh, it was called Dollboy and I did four issues, black and white, in the 90s. And then I did a couple of other Australian comic books for a while. And then I moved into animation. So I was uh, storyboarding TV shows and character concepts. And since then I've worked on um, multimedia projects. Uh, I illustrate for lots of educational books, doing comics for them. And I also do graphic design, which is probably my main main job now. So we, we worked on um, sort of animation in, in, in television. Yeah. What was the, uh, if, you, if you don't mind me asking, what were some of the projects that you worked on? I was working for a little boutique studio down in Hobart called Blue Rocket. Um, and they, at the time, they were doing short animation series, so like five minute series, that were sold to the ABC and also to the European market. So we did um, a series called Hooter and Snoz, that was a 3D animation. Uh, a series called Time Cracks, which was a mixture of 2D and 3D. So each of these were like um, five minute episodes, but 12 episodes in the series, uh, lots of other kind of little things and they're still working down now in Hobart and they're doing feature films at the moment and like longer series shows. I think Pixel Pinky was a series that was on Channel 9 and they're doing a couple of features now. This is fantastic. It looks like so your career is sort of quite broad in regards to all the genres and, and yeah. uh, channels and formats you've been working yeah. with. You kind of have to be nimble. I guess yeah. it would in this industry. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so what are you currently working on? Is there, is there another volume of Shadow Rumble? Or? Yes, well that's the first uh, part, so I, I probably should do more of that. Um, I'm interested in doing more true stories, because that's really fun to do. Um, and then at the moment I got like, you, have, you always have lots of ideas on the shelf, but with my daytime work, I realise I, I can only pick two two side projects at the one time, so I'm just going to think of what next. I'm thinking about republishing my original Dollboy series into one collection, kind of remastering it. Make it all nice and polished. Yeah, fix the spelling mistakes and touch up the lettering and that kind of thing. I, I've discovered, like, these are my pop culture uh, touch points, but realising it today, they're quite dated. <laughs> so we have um, Merman from Masters of the Universe, from the 80s. The original Michael J. Fox Teen Wolf from the 80s. And the werewolves um, uh, in my Shadow Rumble comic book are inspired by Michael J. Fox's Teen Wolf. Always a classic. Yep. Um, and Revenge of the Nerds. Yep. And this is probably the most uh, current one. It's um, 
my rendition of the great thespian Stephen Toast from Toast of London. <laughs> so it's funny, and like this is my first show I've done for a while, so I just don't really know what people are going to be attracted to. And it's funny, like some people will walk by and go, oh, Team Wolf, the original Team Wolf, and then kids won't know anything about it. But like yourself, you go, oh, Stephen Toast. Yeah. Definitely its own brand of humour, but it's fantastically funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. As we were talking uh, previously, I'm obsessed with it. I just had to draw him. So, like with this kind of show, I don't know. Like, you just kind of, I don't know what people are going to be into. I don't think like looking around. There's lots of superhero kind of mainstream stuff. So maybe there's a market for this. Maybe this is uh, like it's a point of difference. But it's kind of the stuff I like doing. Fantastic, Scott. Anyway, thank you very much for showing us what you have here. No, my and pleasure. We hope to see you at other conventions. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.